Hey there, how are you? Lately, I have started to venture into JavaScript to overcome some model-driven app challenges. My name is George Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to populate a field in a form based upon selecting a lookup. First, the business scenario. I am entering details in a document and when I pull in a product, I want to populate the unit price field. Let's see it at work. Here I have this invoice. I am going to add a new line and when I select the product, boom, the price gets populated. And should I change my mind? and I want to select another product, no problem. The unit price follows through. How this works is by means of some JavaScript that I'm going to share with you in the description. And what you do with it is save it as a JS file. Yeah like this, let's um, call it demo file. And then you go and you create a new web resource, new more web resource, pull in the file you have just created. Let me look for it and save the web resource should appear in your solution let's have a look just do a quick refresh here under code and there's the demo file you with that you then open your form and here I'm using a quick create, but it could be the main form. No problem there. And uh, you select uh, the lookup, go to events, click on event handler, set the type to on change, look for your web resource here, clicking add library see if we can find it yes add it to the event handler you need to paste in the name of your function which you will find here in the code right here okay paste it there and you need to set or enable the pass execution context as first parameter. With that, click save or click done, click save and publish your form and you're off to the races. Just take care to adapt the names of tables and columns in the code before using it. So are you ready to try this? Let me know how it worked out for you, okay? And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon!